diving and snorkeling that keeps pulling me back into the water is the opportunity for true exploration. It's so unpredictable. The underwater world is so different, so alien, and yet so vibrant and alive. It's some of the most beautiful sights you can see, I think, on this planet. And the only way to properly experience it is to strap on a mask and get in the water yourself. The undersea program on the Orion in Indonesia is especially unique because we offer guests the opportunities to explore underwater in a variety of different ways. The undersea program uses different tools in order to accomplish this, including snorkeling, scuba diving, and remotely operated vehicles in order to capture video and images of the undersea world. The Orion has a boat that has a glass bottom that makes it possible for guests to explore the undersea world while still having a discussion about what kind of corals you're seeing, the unique diversity of the life, all in real time. The Raja Ampat Archipelago, which is part of the Coral Triangle, is located in the northwest corner of Indonesia's West Papua province. Raja Ampat is kind of the golden standard for coral reefs in the world. This is an area of incredible biodiversity. It's where every diver wants to go, where they can see hundreds of different types of corals and clear water with hundreds and hundreds of fish. I got the pleasure to spend some time with a young backfish on one of our dives in Raja Ampat, and it was incredibly tolerant and almost seemed a little curious. Over the lava flow, we're seeing these massive, massive fields of cabbage coral. It extends for miles. You have big, open, wide spaces of bright light, these gentle slopes characterized by pinks, oranges, yellows. It's absolutely beautiful. Corals need the sunlight to grow, so corals in this area are growing quite close to the surface. Snorkelers get a very dynamic experience. In shallow water, you can see many, many different types of corals and lots of fish living in amongst them. And then when we put on the scuba gear, it just takes it one step further. We can get closer to the corals, we can go a little deeper, and we can stay longer. You can experience the sea life up close and personal. You can visit those drop-offs where you have lots of current and large pelagic fish coming in. It's an area where we have clams that can grow up to two meters in length, six feet across. There's Christmas tree worms reaching out into the water column trying to grab little bits of plankton that float by. The opportunity is to see rays, sharks, eels that are hidden beneath the coral. It's incredible diversity meeting incredible visibility as well.